Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Lane and today we are doing another draft class of Madden 19. This time we are doing the Major League Baseball draft class. It's a mix of old players with some new players. But if you haven't watched one of these videos on my channel before, I take the whole Patriots team, I trade them away, get as many first round draft picks as we can get. As you can see on the left side of the screen, we have the first, third, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. I believe we have 21 or 22 first round picks. But we're going to start off drafting a quarterback in Mike Trout. Let's see what he's all about. 88 overall superstar development. 95 throw power, 84 deep accuracy, 84 medium, 87 short. Now the Raiders are picking next. I imagine they'll pick Bo Jackson maybe? Manny Machado. Okay. Not exactly what I was expecting. Now there is a player. We could go with Bo Jackson or Stanton and McGuire. But if you look a little bit further down here, Deion Sanders. You know, the one that played football and baseball. Let's draft him right now. 86 overall, superstar development, 98 speed, 90 man, 90 zone. I mean, he's, the, he's Deion Sanders. What else is there to say? Not much. Carlos Correa, okay. Chipper Jones to the Panthers, all right. Now we have, I think, five or six picks in a row. So let's go with Bo Jackson, because how could we miss out on Bo Jackson? 86 overall, superstar development, 90 break tackle, 95 speed, 95 acceleration, 93 agility. Okay, not bad. Now, I want to make sure we get Mark McGuire, Mr. Steroid himself. I want to get Giancarlo Stanton. Jeff Bagwell would be nice if he wasn't a running back. Probably should go with Tommy Hunter just because we're going to need some offensive line help. Look at those combine grades. 81 overall, quick development, 97 strength, 81 run block, 81 pass block. Ooh, that is good. Let's see. Like I said, I want to make sure we get Mark McGuire, so let's add him to the team right now. 84 overall, normal development. 85 power move, 68 finesse, 87 speed, 88 acceleration. Look at the look at the eye black. I loved Mark McGuire growing up. I remember watching him. It was at Sosa, I believe, at Fenway Park Home Run Derby. If I remember correctly, was that like 2000, 2001? Let's go with Giancarlo Stanton, the Yankee. 84 overall, quick development, 86 tackle, 95 hit power, 89 speed, 90 acceleration. Not bad, not bad. Who else is on this list that I would notice? Frank Thomas, Roger Clemens, Pedro, cornerback? I don't know about that. Barry Bonds. How do we pass up on Barry Bonds? I don't know if we can. I really don't know if we can. Alex Rodriguez, a great player, even though he's on the steroids. Greg Maddox, okay. Mookie Betts is there. Brady Anderson. Ken Griffey? Ooh. We have to make sure we take some of these higher up guys so we don't miss out on them. So let's go with Jeff Kent. So we don't need a quarterback. We don't need a running back. Defensive tackle, I'm not all worried about right now. Jeff Kent, 82 overall, quick development, 88 speed, 77 zone, 89 tackle. Now, I really want to make sure we get Barry Bonds. See how many steroid guys we can get on one team. Clemens would fit right in. You could argue probably Frank Thomas and Pedro Martinez, Alex Rodriguez for sure. I'm going to go with Barry Bonds, probably the best hitter of all time in my opinion. 83 overall, star development. I know he's on steroids, but 87 tackle, 86 hit power, 85 speed, 89 acceleration. He was a great player before the steroids, in my opinion. All right. Seattle and New York have picks. Who are they going to take? Greg Maddox. Bryce Harper. Okay. Then we got one, two, three, five more picks before the Broncos pick. So let's go Pedro, because I'm a Boston fan, so you just have to. 83 overall normal development, 93 speed, 80 man coverage, 83 zone, 78 player act. I would like to see, like I know they made the quarterbacks Mike Trout and Bryce Harper, but I would like to see if like Roger Clemens was a quarterback or Pedro, because obviously they're like, like look, Justin Verlander is a quarterback, throw power A+. plus. I think Roger Clemens threw a little bit faster than Verlander in my opinion, probably Pedro too. Let's go with Alex Rod. Actually, did we draft a tight end? No, we didn't. I was thinking Barry Bonds was on, but he's a right outside linebacker. Alex Rodriguez, 81 overall normal development. Why does he have that little weird neck thing? 87 speed, 76 catching, 70 run block, 70 awareness. I don't know about that. Alex Rodriguez, also one of the best hitters of all time, best players of all time. What else do we need? We need offensive line help, obviously. Brady Anderson, I love Ken Griffey Jr. He was my favorite player growing up, so I just have to take him. 84 overall, star development. 89 speed, 83 tackle, 83 block shed, 87 hit power. I thought about playing Ken Griffey Jr. and putting it on this channel, but I'm just going to keep it for Madden for now. Maybe if I ever make a second channel, I'll upgrade some of the Ken Griffey baseball. Let's see. Let's go with the center, see what he's all about. Fourth in the bench press. 77 overall, but superstar development. 90 strength, 80 run block, 90 pass block. I honestly don't know who this is, if I'm being completely honest. Philip Pachos? I don't know if that's a recent player, an older player. 
I'm not sure. And I'm sure you guys are going to blast me in the comments down below. But that's all right. And then let's go with CC or Aaron Judge. Let's go with CC Zabathia. 44 bench press. 85 overall. Quick development. Does he put his actual age? No, he's just 20. 99 strength. 85 run block. 80 pass block. I don't know how this guy decided on all these stats, but I, I would love to know. Matt Holiday to the Denver Broncos. And I think we have a ton of picks now, right? We're on 20, 20, 21, 22, 3, 4. Okay. We don't have the 30th pick. Other than that, we have the rest of the picks. So we can just start rattling off some picks right now. What do we need? We need receivers. Is there no receivers yet? Musina, Fred McGriff, John Smoltz, Randy Johnson, Jeter? Okay. Let's go with Musina, I suppose. 79 overall normal development. 99 speed. 99 acceleration, 60 catching, 60 catching traffic. Why is he a receiver? I don't understand that whatsoever. I think it would make more sense to put like Mookie Betts out there or like Trout or Harper. Let's go with Fred McGriff. We need receivers. 79 overall quick development, 95 speed. Okay, this is better. 89 catching, 85 catching traffic. I like to see that. I do not understand why Musina has 60 catching. It really doesn't make sense. All right. What else do we need on defense? We need another. We need a free safety, rather, in defensive tackle and a left end. So let's go Frank Thomas. I was a big fan of him growing up on the White Sox as well. 86 overall, quick development. 85 power moves, 71 finesse, 84 speed, 88 acceleration. Not bad. What else do we got here? We need a right guard. So let's go with Jeff Fulcino. Fulcino? I don't know if I'm saying that right. 81 overall, quick development. 88 strength, 85 run block, 82 pass block. So we've done what? We've done baseball draft class with this. We've done uh, basketball. I don't know hockey whatsoever, so that probably wouldn't even be interesting to watch. Is there any other free safeties that I know other than Brady Anderson? Tom Glavin, Renteria, Hoffman, Luis Gonzalez. I don't know how, like, I don't know how he decided on all these. Ron Grant, Nomar. Ooh, I love me some Nomar. Craig Biggio. What do we have for defensive tackles? Don't really know. I don't know Braxton. I don't know any of those players whatsoever. What else do we need on offense? We don't need much. We need a left tackle. Oh, yeah. Aaron Judge. That's, how could I forget? 85 overall. Star development. 95 strength. 83 run block. 86 pass block. I imagine this team will make it to the playoffs pretty easy, if I had to guess. At this point, I mean, we need a free safety. So, I'll take Brady Anderson just to fill the position. 79 overall. Normal development. 91 speed, 81 zone, 78 tackle, 76 pursuit. I don't think I've ever filled out a team this quickly and easily. Granted, there's so many players that it's not that hard. We could use another corner like Ron Gant. I'd rather go with Nomar. Just oh, Vladimir Guerrero, David Ortiz, Biggio's there. Do we go with Biggio? Or do we go with Noma? Noma. Let's go with Noma. I'm a, from a Red Sox fan. 78 overall, quick development. 91 speed, 80 man, 80 zone. All right, all right. As long as he doesn't do his little, his like fixing his gloves before every play or anything like that, I'll be fine. I'll be absolutely fine. Defensive tackle, I guess I'll go with this guy. I really don't want to. 81 overall, normal development, 97 strength, 76 block shed, 86 power move. I mean, it's just, it's just to fill that position too. No other reason. Uh, let's see. We could use another receiver. We don't need a strong safety. We don't need a free safety corner. I, I just, at this point, we can just pick players just to pick them. Like Sammy Sosa? Sure. Add more steroid guys, corked back guys, whatever you want to get on this team. 77 overall, 90 speed, 99 zone, 68 tackle. How do you decide on 99 zone for Sammy Sosa? I should, like, message the guy who made this list and just be like, how did, how did you do this? How did you, like, land on all these guys? Like, I'd love to see Vladimir Guerrero as a quarterback because he has a cannon. 83 overall, quick development, 89 speed, 85 tackle, 85 block shed. I don't think they'd have, yeah, they wouldn't really have throw power. That wouldn't make sense. Mike Trout has too much potential, they say. Let's see who the Steelers take. Roger Clemens. That might have been my final steroid pick. But instead, I mean, do we take another receiver, maybe? John Smoltz, Randy Johnson, Derek Jeter. Nolan Ryan's down here for some reason. Paul O'Neill. This league is going to be completely filled with people. And I think we're just going to take John Smoltz just because he's an eight combine grade. He's Actually, who's faster? Derek Jeter or... Okay, it's John Smoltz. Let's take John Smoltz. Add him to the team. 76 overall. He's superstar development. 
95 speed, 97 acceleration, 74 catching, 70 catch and traffic. But that was our final pick. So let's sim on by, look at our team, and then go to the playoffs. So our team's overall is a 79. The offense is an 85. The defense is an 87. Our quarterback is Mike Trout. Bo Jackson's our running back. We've seen a Smoltz McGriff for our receivers. Aaron Judge, Sabathia, Passos, Falcino, Hunter, our offensive line, Alex Rodriguez. On defense, we got Pedro, Frank Thomas, Broxton, McGuire, Deion Sanders, Noma, Garcia Para, Brady Anderson, Bonds, Griffey, Guerrero, Stanton, Jeff Kent, Sammy Sosa. We have a bunch of players, but will we make the playoffs? So we ended up going 12 and four, but only making the wild card round. How did that happen? How did we not get a first round bye? Let's take a peek at the AFC real quick. Texans went 12, three and one. The Steelers 12 and four. Okay, that makes sense. They must have beat us in the game that we played against each other. Let's check out the stats. Mike Trout, 4,500 yards, 44 touchdowns and nine interceptions. An incredible year. Bo Jackson, 1,300 yards, seven touchdowns. Wow. Rodriguez, 900 yards, almost 1,000 yards, 11 touchdowns. Musina, 1,100 yards, 10 touchdowns. McGriff, 900 yards, eight touchdowns. Smoltz with five. Bo Jackson with six. Those are some other players that aren't from the draft. Uh, defense, defense, defense. Who is going to have the sack total? McGuire with 16 sacks. Frank Thomas, 11 and a half. Broxton with uh, nine. Guerrero with five and a half. Davis, that's not a player. Five. Stan with three. Bonds with two. Griffey with one. Deion Sanders with one. And Rivers with one. Also not a player from the draft. Interceptions. Pedro with three. Deion Sanders with two. Brady Anderson with two. Griffey, Ken, Cross, and McGuire. No, not McGuire. Cross with one. Let's see. Fumble recoveries. One for Brady Anderson. One for Noma. Let's see. Safeties. Nothing. Defensive touchdowns. Nothing. But, I, I mean, Mike Trout might win the MVP. Mike Trout, MVP, that's what I like to see. Matt Ryan, Garoppolo, Goff, Gurley, any other Patriots? No. Coach of the year, of course. AFC, Mike Trout, any other Patriots? Bo Jackson's up there. I like to see that, too, guys. Defensive player of the year, we have McGuire with 16 sacks. We have Ken Griffey Jr., that's interesting. Must have had a bunch of tackles. Offensive rookie of the year, just going to be a bunch of players. Mike Trout, Bo Jackson, Cal Ripken, Bagwell, Betts, Manny Ramirez. Huge fan of Manny growing up as well. Alex Rodriguez, from McGriff, defensive player of the year, Jacoby Ellsbury. Piazza's there, Henry Ramirez, Carpenter, McGuire, Cabrera, Griffey. We could probably do this again and pick a bunch of different players. That'd be interesting to do as well because I imagine, like, can we go to the Dolphins real quick? I want to see how Els, actually, maybe we should go for an offensive player. Let me take another look at the offensive rookie of the year. Let's go for both sides. Bryce Harper. Okay, let's go to the Giants real quick. See how he did because I imagine he's up there as well. Giants. 4,000 yards, 27 touchdowns, 12 interceptions. That's not crazy. Only an 82 overall quick development. Okay. I guess I'm completely wrong. I probably... Oh, this Jake Arrieta is there. RG3. Okay. That's Jake Arrieta, right? Yeah. What is he? A 77 overall. We probably could do this again if you guys are interested. Definitely let me know down in the comments below. Let's see. What do we have for XP-wise? Mike Trout has nine. Bo Jackson with four. Musina with three. Bunch of our offensive linemen have some. What about on defense? Frank Thomas with two, Broxton with three, McGuire with five, Deion Sanders with five, Griffey with two, Kent with two. Let's let the computer upgrade real quick. So Mike Trout was an 88 with nine, so he's going to have to like a 97 easy. Maybe a 96, I guess. What do you get to? 99 overall. No, he's a 97 with plus two confidence. Wow, look at this. We're an 86 overall, 91 offense, 87 defense. Can we beat the 9-7 and seven Tennessee Titans? Patriots couldn't beat him in real life, but can we beat them now? We really lost 21 to 17. How is that possible? Our team is absolutely stacked. What am I doing wrong? Paxton Lynch. Okay, that's not what I want to look at. Mike Trout, 252, a touchdown and interception. Mariota, 300 yards with a touchdown and interception. Bo Jackson, 17 for 63 with a touchdown. Mariota had a touchdown. I just don't get it. Johnny Damon, 9 for 59. That's an interesting name to see. Walker, 8 for a 110. Rodriguez, 6 for 72 with a touchdown. Messina, 5 for 62. Smoltz, 5 for 39. Sharp, 5 for 75. McGriff, 4 for 49. Corey Davis had a touchdown. Do we have any sacks or anything? Eight tackles by Ken Griffey. Wow. Up, oh, up, oh, what's the sack? One by Frank Thomas. Interceptions? What do we got? I saw Kevin Euclid and then cross in. Uh, I don't think there's going to be any defensive touchdowns or anything, right? Safeties, no. Defensive touchdowns, and no. But that, actually, no. Let's go see who won the Super Bowl. 
I don't know when this is going up, but the Rams beat the Houston Texans 35-21, and that seems to always be the matchup in all my rebuilds. Jerry Goff, 328, two touchdowns. Watson, 223 with a touchdown. Todd Gurley, 16 for 122 with two touchdowns. Ingram on the Texans, 5 for 79 with a touchdown. Miller, 18 for 54 with a touchdown. Lay Ritz with a touchdown, okay. Cooper Cup, 8 for 152 with a touchdown. Will Fuller, 6 for 63. Hopkins, 5 for 56. Do they have any? They must have somebody from this, right? I don't see anybody. Maybe on defense? There has to be some. They've had to draft someone from it. Maybe Jay Bruce? That sounds familiar. Actually, yeah, Jay Bruce is on the, the Bengals, right? David Ortiz is there. Okay. Is that Jorge Posada? Okay. Troy Glass? AJ Przinski? All right. They have a bunch of players from this, but that is going to be it for this video. If you want to see me do another one of these, like the MLB one with the same draft class and everything like that, let me know in the comments below. We can mix up our draft picks, all that. But if you guys like the video, give it a like down below. Make sure to check out my channel, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.